Allen argues, I come out of the labor movement, this one has great appeal to me and great relevance, I think, uh, hopefully for all of us. The white race is an all-class association. Now, this all-class association is very important, I think, because I'm going to be speaking at a sociology convention in another month, and I'm going to stress to people, let's break from these charts that say white, black, Asian, and let's break it out by class a little so we don't get a lot of these misleading generalizations that come, right? But the white race is, in fact, an all-class association of European Americans held together by racial privileges conferred by the, on the laboring class European Americans relative to African Americans. Conferred. This is from the ruling class. That who's driving the ship. That's who's setting up the system. He argues it is the basic, most prevalent, and historic form of class collaboration in this country. If it's an all-class association and they're aligning together against the black labor, for example, that is class collaboration. That's when your co-workers collaborate with the boss against your fellow workers. Right? White supremacism, this is Allen, is the Achilles heel, the great weakness of the labor, democratic, and socialist movements in this country. The white race this creation has served as the principal historic guarantor of ruling class domination of national life in the U.S. And this one, very important, I think, white identity is the main barrier to class conscious in the U.S. He says the main barrier is the incubus, the devil of white identity.